How's it going guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how to change a wing on an Astra VXR. So the reason I'm changing mine is because my current ones were damaged and you can see there it started to chip and bubble. That one wasn't so it was just easier to just buy a new wing rather than try and repair that and I paid about 20 quid for these two wings I think it was so nice and cheap. So the first thing we need to do is get the car jacked up and get that wheel off just to make your life easier. So unfortunately guys the next thing you have to do is drop your bumper off because you need to take the headlight out on the inside of the wing there. There is obviously a tab for the bottom headlight bolt um, and obviously you need to undo the top one anyway and get that one out as well. Then you've got a bolt there, a bolt up there, there's like a clip thing here that sits under the rubber and then is literally just a clip in there so that can come out um, and there's a bolt or two in the wing. No there's not, there's one bolt in the top of the wing and then you have to get the other one through the wheel arch liner but I'll show you that shortly. So I'll show you how to get your bumper off now. If you don't want to see that or you know how to do it, skip ahead. I'll put the time on the screen where to skip to. Once you've got those out, you pull the grill forward slightly, put your hand underneath, you can feel some tabs, pinch the tabs and then this will come out. Now a lot of mine are broken so I've only got two that I need to manoeuvre. There's one, two. Those are the little clips I was talking about. Um, if you, When the grill's on the car, if you just pull your finger around and push that down, then it will release it up for you. And like I say, most of mine are broke so I don't have to do much. So the next thing you can do, which is fairly simple, is on this side here you've got one there and on this side you've got one there. They're just little kind of pop-up rivets, so if you can get a tool in there, like so, prise it up and out it falls. Um, I'll show you what they look like so you know what you're doing. Like that, so if you can just get this tool in between them two and then prise it up and it pops out. So then into the wheel arch, um, you've usually got a bolt there and a bolt there. Take those out and then you can pull this forward. Now, a lot of people worry about this, but don't be. It's, it's simple and it's not going to do any damage. Just give this a good pull like that. Same on both sides and then that will allow the bumper to come off. Then once you've done that on both sides, back up into this middle piece and you've got some little tabs here. All you've got to do is push that down and then pull this part of the bumper forward away from that tab and once you've done all four then the bumper will come forward. Just be aware that when you do pull it, it could fall. So what I like to do and do is hold it just underneath the number plate, well, the side because obviously your plate's usually there. Hold it at the side, pull it forward a little bit just to support it and uh, it will stop anything getting damaged. And that's how it looks just when they're pulled the other side of the tab and as you can see now, the bumpers nice and free to come forward so support that when we get it off uh, undo the electrical connectors and then your bumper comes off there we have it bumpers off so once you've taken the headlights uh, switch out undo the headlight bolts which is that one uh, there's one there and then the one just there once you've taken that out that will give you access to the bolts for the wing so you've got two just under there You've got, like I said, the two there. There's one just inside the door at the top. You can see him chilling there. Excuse my finger. <laughs> and then, like I said before, inside the wing, I think there's one. There might be there's two, one down the bottom and one in the middle. So I'll show you them shortly. So then once you come down here, you've got these silly little pop pop things that have usually got a little nut inside and when you push them in you lose them into the abyss so they're annoying as anything you need to try and figure out a way of changing them to different ones but yeah do that and there's quite a few dotted about you'll see them there's usually one there uh, there's another one just there 
uh, maybe that one and I think that's about it and that should then give you access enough just to move this back so that you can get to the two bolts that are in there. So with that you just saw me take out the two bolts there, the two bolts on the top and that one in there. That now makes the wing extremely flexible. So on here, this was the uh, sort of clip if you want to call it that, that sits under this trim. Now trying to get it back in is a pain in the backside, and doing it on the other side didn't go very well. Don't want to talk about that. But anyway, this one, there's a little bit of uh, like double sided tape under there. You can break that seal and then uh, that can come off. If you don't want to do that and you're lucky enough to change the wing for the same colour then under here there's just like one of those ones that separates as you as it pushes through you just need to push them together and it will pull out. So with the arch lining out of the way take you in there and you've got that one bolt there and then just there there is another bolt and I did forget to say all of these are 10 mils. So then you've got these side repeaters. Now mine are aftermarket, but I think the stock ones were the same. So you just sort of push it back towards where this part of the clip is and it's a bit flexible and then pulls forward. Twist that to get that out and then you're almost done. And with that out guys, that should be that ready to come off now. Look at that, just like that. Push the actual connector through. And that is one wing off. Now all you've got to do is reattach the other one and it's the reversal of removal. Yeah, but that is both wings changed and you can see the two up on the wall. That's the ones we've taken off because they were damaged. Thank you very much for watching this video guys. I hope you found it interesting and helpful. Let me know down below what you thought. Drop me a like, drop me a follow. I'll catch you in the next one.